Shalom, this is St. Jadiel with Saints of Israel. All right, uh, today is Tuesday, April the 6th, 2021. All right, happy new year. All right, it's new year and Passover is coming up. This Saturday, all right, April 10th, on Saturday night, after the Sabbath, is the Passover. All right, so I'm going to read these scriptures really quick. Make sure you're getting all the... Um, the leaven out of your house, the, the leaven that's used for eating, for for cooking and eating, get rid of it, alright? Uh, make sure all that's out of your, uh, out of your house. Okay. I'm going to go real quick to Leviticus chapter 23, verse 4. It says here, these are the feasts of the Lord. Okay, Leviticus chapter 23, verse 4. These are the feasts of the Lord, even the holy convocations, meaning well, holy gatherings, set apart gatherings, okay? So, if you're single, make sure you gather with one other person, married couples, make sure you gather together, obviously, okay? Levit Leviticus chapter 23, verse 4. These are the feasts of the Lord, even the holy convocations, which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. In the fourteenth day of the first month at even... Is the Lord's Passover, All right? And on the fifteenth day, the same of the same month, is the feast of unleavened bread unto the Lord. Seven days ye must eat unleavened bread. Okay, so from the Passover up until the following uh, Saturday, we're to eat unleavened bread. All right. So no cookies, no anything that has unleavened bread, no bolillos, no. Um, no buns, nothing like that, okay? You have to eat un unleavened bread, all right? Now I'm going to go to Exodus chapter 12. Um, two, and yeah, start at verse 2. So Exodus chapter 12. Okay, Exodus chapter 12, verse 2 says, This month shall be unto you the beginning of the months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. All right? Okay, and this is how we, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to keep reading. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb according to the house of their father, a lamb for a house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of souls. Okay. Every man according to his eating shall shall make your account for the lamb. All right. So meaning, if the lamb is too much for that household, right? They're to share that lamb with their neighbors. All right. Okay. So it says here, verse, let's see, verse five: Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male. Of the first year, ye shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats, and ye shall keep it up until the fourteenth day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. And if they shall take the blood and strike, sorry, yeah, and they shall take the blood, sorry, and they shall take of the blood, sorry about that, and strike it on the two side posts. And on the upper doorposts of the houses. Now, that part we don't do anymore. The whole uh, taking the blood and striking the two uh, side posts, we don't do that anymore. Okay? And on the upper doorposts of the houses where they shall eat it. Okay? That part we don't do anymore. Okay? Verse 8. And they shall eat the flesh and that night roast with fire and unleaven the bread. And with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Now, bitter herbs you can get arugula or uh, kale. Or any type of uh, bitter herb, okay? And with bitter herbs, they shall eat it. Neat, sorry, eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, but roast with fire. His head with his legs, and with the puritans thereof. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. And that which remaineth of it until the morning ye shall burn with fire. And thus shall ye eat it, with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And ye shall eat it in haste, meaning eat it quickly. 
It is the Lord's Passover. All right, as for me, I stopped by Bonds and uh, got some baby arugula, okay, for the bitter herbs, all right, and got some grass-fed uh, ground lamb, all right. So make sure uh, you get your lamb uh, today. If not, uh, make sure you get it tomorrow, all right. All right, so uh, I'm St. Jado, Saints of Israel. Shalom and be blessed in the Most High in Christ.